and he asked me something. He said, who should be the most, the, the, who should be the wealthiest doctor in your town? And I, not even knowing what he was asking, I said, well, I don't know. Who should be the wealthiest doctor, right? <laughs> and I said, he said, no, Danny, you should be. Very nice. So let me, like, let's go right back to the beginning. You opened your practice. Was it always just a huge success? Have you, tell us about some of the challenges you had in the beginning. Tell us about some of the things that, you, you know, right at the beginning, you wish you had known now when you opened your practice in the beginning. Tell us about that. Uh, such a great question. Yeah. And it was not a, a huge success. In fact, I will definitely be first to admit I had made, and when I practiced in South Carolina, I had uh, several times where I had emotional breakdowns, crying on the floor. Why did I do this? And I'm failing. So, you know, I've been there too, and I've experienced that. And the thing, if there is one thing that I wish I had known then, it's to care about the practice member and care about their results and that they need you more than you know them. Because so often your headspace is how, because of student loans, because of education, because of you have to pay a mortgage, your headspace and heart space is in the wrong place. And that focus is, man, I've got to pay the mortgage, I've got to pay the rent, and people can smell that, they can feel that, and it really, um, it's, it's a game that you have to pivot your consciousness that you are able to change that. And a lot of people struggle out of, uh, never really launch because they don't pivot that. I've seen people there in 20 years of that challenge, and wow. they can't do that. They're so focused on them. And really, the, having the certainty and the conviction that people need you more than you need them and what you do is of such value. I had this time when I, again, I was having um, a breakdown about this in my first year of practice and I got on the phone with my dad. Who would I get on the phone with, right? My, he's a well-known, super successful yeah. chiropractor and my, yeah. my dad, my stepdad, you know, I said, what, what do I do? And he asked me something. He said, who should be the most, the, the, who should be the wealthiest doctor in your town? And I, not even knowing what he was asking, I said, well, I don't know. Who should be the wealthiest doctor, right? <laughs> and I said, he said, no, Danny, you should be mm -hmm. the wealthiest doctor in your town mm -hmm. because, <clears throat> excuse me, what you have is so valuable. You're the most valuable service. And the, how valuable you have to share is, is so valuable, you're so skilled, um, that should bring revenue. And, I, and it completely changed or shifted my thinking because I never thought I should be the wealthiest doctor in the town because why would that be? I'm, I'm just a chiropractor, right? Versus yeah. that, you know, I have something of such value. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe, hit the like button and share the video or leave a comment. It really means a lot to me. Also, if you haven't subscribed, my statistics show that over 70% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. You do not want to miss the practice growth strategies I'm going to be teaching over the next couple of months. See you on the other side.